Ooh, gosh. What sums up three years of a high school experience? As far as our class, uh, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> okay, class of 2012, um, you know, we have just had so many people coming in and out of our class, but each time they've definitely had a lasting impact um, on our class and the kinds of experiences that we've shared together, um, different heads of years and um, teachers, advisories, field trips, um, you know, grade jokes like, um, like Collins, like every, like nobody actually says his real name. In case any of you didn't know, there isn't actually an S at the end of my name. But I think it's a little something else. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a sense of community that we have around here that you don't really get many other places. Shouts out to Ani, Ani's been a nice person for four years. Um, the, you know, she kind of tolerates me, so that's really the only reason we're friends. I really noticed that when I came to Atlanta, and I've only been here for two years, that in Atlanta there's a lot of cultural, I mean, um, uh, a con racial conflict between black and white, and I noticed that we defeat that through our, we defeat racism through our humor. The best thing about our grade is that we're the only people in Atlanta that really understand what everyone's been through the last two years in the IB. Um, econ, shouts out to Come, shouts out to Mr. Gendron. Uh, we still miss you in that class. But I think, I think these two years that everyone's really stuck around, you've seen people like grow into the people that they are today. Yeah, I think... And like, I think our grades really like this, come We have like together. a strong sense of community. Yeah. And I it's just, not... I remember in middle school it was all very clicky and we were all in these separate groups and it was just kind of stupid really. But, but now... Like, I think now, like I, I've learned to like appreciate everyone and how they are as a person. Like, for example, I might not be the closest friends with Nadine, but I love her because like her hard work ethic and like she pushes me to try to be a better person because she works so hard and like I can appreciate that about her. Um, I don't think I've ever met such a talented group of people amongst the 72 of us. We not only cover just about every sport imaginable, and that includes those on the fields, in the pool, on the courts, on the tracks, but we have also covered music, art, and theater. And it has been a pleasure to watch all of you over the past 14 or 2 years develop and excel in whatever your passion is. And I think that it really works you so hard, too hard sometimes, but it really um, pushes you to know like, how hard you can actually work and what you're really capable of doing. So that to me it was really a gift these past 3 years. <laughs> Um, shout out to Annalise and Constance for never sharing your IAs with me. <laughs> shout out, should we do shout outs? Shout outs? Like, shout out to my, my girl Camilla. <laughs> shout out to my homeboy Lynn. <laughs> Killian, cut it off. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Uh, you know, I remember telling my friends in second grade at the lunch table, you know, they asked me to sort of idly when I came, uh, you know, as a new student to this Alabama public school. They were like, so do you believe in God? And I was like, no. And people across the table were gagging up their food at this. Like, they were, like, like astonished. They were taken aback that, that I didn't, you know, believe in God and that I wasn't a Baptist. And uh, so when I came here to EIS, I was, like, sort of expecting the same reaction. And it actually happened at the lunch table. Someone... Just sort of idly asked, you know, do you believe in God? And I was like, no. And then they were like, oh, okay. And I was, I was amazed, you know. It was the coolest thing, like, since then, uh, you know, I've just come to appreciate the, 
the atmosphere at AIS, the fact that, you know, it really, you know, I mean, I think a lot of people sort of take that for granted that it's a very hack and, you know, hackneyed phrase, like, oh, it doesn't matter who you are, um, because there are a lot of places where they don't really take that into account. So if there's anyone who's been, you know, sort of raised here their entire life in this school, just, you know, don't take that for granted. Um, there's a lot of places where, you know, it's not as easy to be accepted. More money than that. Where'd all this money come from? I don't even deserve it. Y no sé, o sea, como que a todos nos dan, ahorita es una, una etapa en la vida en la que a todos nos va a dar mucho miedo, ¿no? O sea, porque no sabemos qué va a pasar. Y, y muchas veces sí si sabemos, en real, realmente todavía no sabemos. O sea, nos gusta pretender que tenemos una idea, ¿no? De qué va a ser nuestro futuro. Pues para no, para tener como una certeza, algo de qué agarrarnos. Pero creo que es mejor... O sea, dejarlo fluir, ir viendo cómo van pasando las cosas. O sea, mucha gente me pregunta ahorita de qué, qué quiero hacer cuando me gradúe de universidad, cuál sería mi trabajo. Y pues no sé, la verdad, o sea, es más bien como ir fluyendo y ir viendo qué pasa. Y siempre al final, o sea, depende mucho de nosotros, pues, pero siempre al final todo es para mejor y para crecer como persona. Uh, had to pay money. So one day, Simon, who rode the bus with me, decided to sit down across from me and just start talking to me. Sooner or later, Salome and Chloe came up and started talking to me as well. So afterwards, when we got up, Simon started walking with me. He was like, oh, do you have a good lunch? I was like, yeah, yeah, definitely. He goes, yeah, see, the reason I, I sat down next to you was because, you know, I knew if I started talking to you, other people would come up and start talking to you too. And I just wanted you to have, a, you know, a good lunch and start meeting new people. And really, that was awesome. I thought that was a phenomenal thing for Simon to do for me, um, to take time out of his lunch to sit down, talk with me, and help me meet new people. And that just speaks to everyone in our grade, how they treated me when I first got here, and how our grades really included everyone um, that's got in for the most part, and you know, eventually integrates them into our little gaggle of family here. So I just want to get say thank you, Simon. I don't think I ever have, and you know, I still remember that. I probably always will. Shouts out! Shouts out to Claire. Um, Tari's always been a point guard. Shouts out to Tari. Shout out to all the kids in the back class who never did nothing, except for Tina. Tina, you always kind of made me feel bad because you were the only one who really understood what was going on. Uh, shout out to Jay for never sharing your book with me. We'd have one book between four people and you'd kind of read it by yourself. You have flaws too, Jason. No, I don't. Uh, I'm really gonna miss AIS because of, I guess, all of the people who are a huge part of the life here, and um, I sort of I wish everyone who's leaving next year, all of the seniors, all of my grade, uh, all the best, and uh, get a lot of sleep over the summer because we need it. <laughs> Um, I think that AIS is a very welcoming place and we have a really strong sense of community and we've all been able to bond together and I'm really going to miss everybody and I wish everyone the best in college and wherever else they end up after that. So emotional right now. I'm going to miss all of you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to miss any of you. Um, I guess really my favorite part of AIS has got to be the baseball team. Um, Almost went to states last year. I mean, pretty solid. But no, for real. On a lighter note, I'm gonna miss all you guys. Hope you uh, have a great time in college, and hope you guys do outstanding things in life. These little things that we do here is kind of what you um, see, like how people really are, and I think that's. Um, I think I value that a lot, and it's just been. I don't know, with its ups and downs, it's been a great experience overall, and I'll kind of... I'm gonna um, miss everyone in my senior yeah, class. I love you guys so yeah. much. I'm just happy that 12th graders are leaving. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, Shouts out to A-Rich for explaining stuff to me. Shouts out to A-Rich for just being a good guy. I'm really going to miss all of you guys, and I've really enjoyed my experience here at AIS. Um, so, we love yeah. you guys. Yeah, we, we love, love you guys. We'll miss you. And keep in contact. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. Tweet me. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet me at, at only for Giles. <laughs> what? Shouts out to all my boys. All, uh, James Rashford, you've been there for me since the beginning. Um, DJ again, James Ray, all my guys. This is Michael Pierce, signing off. Have a good life. Wait. I like that one. <laughs> Killian, Philip, Alejandro Rogi, LaPalm, Bennett, Moose. I love you guys till the end. Um, and I just want to say congratulations to my class. Um, I think you are all amazingly talented individuals. Uh, with amazingly bright futures ahead of you. And we're gonna make a big splash in this little pond that we're in. <laughs> That's it. No more. Right, Steve? Okay, it's enough. <laughs> what are you doing?